Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. William Wells Brown was a prominent African-American abolitionist, novelist, playwright, and historian. He was born a slave in Kentucky and it was sold several times before he was 20 years old. He spent the majority of his life in St. Louis and was hired out to work on steamboats on the Missouri and Mississippi Rivers. In 1848, now a free man, Brown published William Wells Brown, Narrative of an American Slave, a best-selling account on his life that provides references to the slave trade in the Natchez District. Mr. Walker, a slave trader, had hired Brown to prepare the older slaves for the southern slave markets. While in the steamboat, Brown shaved the men and colored the gray hair of the slaves in a room where the other passengers couldn't see them. The slaves were then taught their ages, all in an attempt to make them 10 to 15 years younger than they were. The boat stopped first at Rodney, where the slaves were driven to a pen at the back of the town. Four or five days later, upon arrival in Natchez, the human cargo was housed in a warehouse before being driven out to the forks of the road. It was at the warehouse that Brown witnessed the cruel whipping of a slave named Lewis who had attempted to visit his wife on a plantation six miles away. Lewis received a hundred lashes. Brown escaped slavery in 1836 and later lived in England, lecturing against slavery. In 1853, he became the first African American to publish a novel entitled Clotel, or The President's Daughter, a narrative of slave life in the United States. Brown died on November 6, 1884. Hi, I am Makaya Farmer, a freshman at Natchez Early College Academy, and this has been your Natchez History Minute.